Hey, this is Patrick McCallum, and uh, I am doing a quick product review on the Simple Harmony Farms Uncapper. Um, I have a beekeeper that keeps between 20 and 30 hives, uh, and as a lot of folks my size, uh, they found that they have found, and I have found that it really becomes a uncapping really becomes the bottleneck in honey harvest uh, when you're uncapping two to three hundred frames a season. And you're doing it all by yourself. So, I, the, I want, I've been searching for a solution for that uh, to try to hurry that bottleneck or to open that bottleneck. And I'm hoping that the Simple Harmony Farms Uncapper is that solution. Uh, I ordered this myself. Um, no one paid me to. Certainly, no one paid me to do this video, and and, and I paid for the uncapper out of my pocket. Uh, these cost roughly $400. Uh, the next solution I think is somewhere around 1500 bucks uh, the sideliner run cappers and then beyond that I think you're getting into the $25, $3,500 range with the chain uncappers. So I don't know that this is the solution for everyone. Uh, I think if you had three or four hives, probably better off with a hot knife uh, or a bread knife. Um, but uh, I needed a little bit of relief because um, I'm capping 200 frames at a clip is by yourself is, is just a little bit more than I wanted to do. So today I have strapped this to my bucket and I have already run one 18 uh, frame load in my Man Lake extractor. Um, very satisfied with the results um, and I wanted to uncap a few for you today. Like I said, I've, I've already extracted about 18 frames, um, and I have uncapped uh, about another about another dozen. And what you're seeing is uh, down in my cappings bucket. Uh, that's all the cappings uh, for uncapping roughly 20, 23, 24 frames. Uh, that's all the cappings that uh, that that came off of these frames through this uncapper, and then. Uh, if you're looking at my extraction buckets, uh, those are 200 uh, micron filters and on those buckets and that is one 18 frame load. That's all that blew out of there um, and straining all that honey out of my extractor. So there are not a lot of cappings uh, produced um, with using this simple harmony frames uncapper. Uh, that's a good thing in my business. I guess if you're making candlesticks, um, this might not be the product for you. Okay, I've selected four frames to uncap for you today. And uh, I've gone through and kind of hand selected these frames. Um, and I've selected some of the big fat easy ones and I've selected some of the uh, translucent uh, ones with translucent cappings or what they call wet cappings uh, and some valleys and uh, some of the more difficult ones uh, of those four. So I'm going to show you the frame. I've numbered the frame, uh, each frame, and uh, I'm going to show it, going to uncap it, and then I want to pull it out after we've extracted it, see just, just how the uncapper did. Okay, this is frame number one. Uh, frame number one has wet cappings. Cappings are kind of translucent, uh, and it is a very irregular face or shape. You see all the pits and valleys looks like a topographic map um, and I'm gonna put this one through this is generally a very difficult frame for a knife to get through and uh, let's see how it does now the manufacturer says I'm just gonna push it through the manufacturer says that you can pull it at angles to get those hard to reach spots and that's what I'm gonna do is kind of run it through here a couple times at some angles let's see so you see the, the back is actually very good still have we'll run that through one more time to get this low spot right here angle that I can catch on there. Ok, 
Okay, now, let's see how it did. All right, remember that. This is frame number one. Wet cappings. And I'm not gonna use a scratcher or anything. I normally clean these up with a scratcher when I'm using my knife, but it kinda defeats the, the purpose of the test, doesn't it? So that's number one. Number two, number two is a more typical frame. This is uh, this isn't a big fat frame. This is probably what you would call a tin frame, honey frame. So it's a well built out frame in a honey super that was ten frames thick, or, ten, or, or used ten frames in a ten frame box. Uh, as you know, some will use nine frames in a ten frame box, and even even eight frames in a ten frame frame box and that makes those cappings exceed past the top bar. This isn't one of those. This is a 10 framer. I run both 10 frames and 9 frames and this is one of my 10 framers. So let's see how that one does. The movement's incredibly easy. Again, I, I like to rock back and forth a little bit under that under that top bar to make sure I get those cappings up underneath the top bar. All right, that's frame number two. Frame number three is a little more of a fatty. Uh, these are the big fatties that every beekeeper loves. I'll show it this way. You can tell that uh, that it extends that the cappings extend a little bit beyond the top bar. So this is should should be the easy one. All right. Let's see how number three does. Now you notice that I kind of go up and down a couple of times. I don't know that that's necessary uh, or not, but I'm doing it. That's frame number three. I don't know if you want to try to get underneath there and slick those rollers bleeding off that honey. Okay, and in an effort to do four completely different types of frames, here is one with old cappings. And you can tell how old that looks. Uh, if I didn't know that honey didn't go bad, I would almost not want to uncap that. Very old, very rubbery. Let's see what happens. Frame number four. Again, that little maneuvering when I have it all the way in there is my invention. I don't know if it's doing any good at all. Frame number four. So, I'm not going to sit here and let you make you watch me do 60 frames. I think those four, those four are a good exemplar of at least what I run across. And uh, I'm going to extract it. We're going to pull them out. I've numbered them. Uh, we're going to pull those out. I'll show it to you. We'll see how it did. All right, this is frame number one. Now check me on the video, but I think this was our difficult frame. It had some peaks and valleys. Um, looks like it did a very good job. You can tell by the weight, uh, and, and if you've extracted a few, 
frames in your lifetime, you can tell immediately when you pick a frame up out of an extractor uh, whether or not you've left something on it. And this is a light frame. It doesn't feel like I've left anything on it. Um, looking very, very closely, and, uh, and let's also remember this, is, this was uh, a challenging frame. I see just about one, two, three, four, five, five uncapped cells here. Um, now, that looks like honey. That's actually not honey. That is uh, honey colored pollen. Um, that is, uh, so I'm seeing where I have about five here. Uh, this is very dark down here. I'm gonna pull that open though and show you that, that is not honey. Um, you have a little bit of remnant in the bottom of that on that along that bottom bar. So uh, it's a discoloration in that wax. So looking like about five or six cells on that side. Again, come up on this top bar. It looks like something dark in there. It's a little bit of honey. It's about a half cell. It got right up underneath the between the bar and the uh, and the wax. You know, uh, just a little line there. I'd say that's about four inches long, um, right against the wood that it didn't get. Uh, that's not the case down here. It does look dark, but if I pull it back with my fingernail. You're not seeing any honey. This is a dark area, but that is not honey in there. That is uh, just a darker area. There's no honey in there. Um, so, little spot on this side. Little spot under the top bar on this side. Uh, and remember, in my opinion at least, that was going to be our most challenging, uh, our most challenging frame. I think that did a good job. Given what it was, given what it was. From number two, this is light as a feather. Uh, I see absolutely nothing on this side. Well, what's this down here? Right here. No, that's not honey. Well, a little bit. Got one right there. You can see one, two cells. Is that another one? Yep. Three, four cells. And honestly, guys, that's my fault. I missed that. I could have moved that over in the uncapper and gotten that. So, uh, I think that might be more poor uncapping on my part than theirs. And again, right here, my fault. Got this one line I could have easily gone back over and gotten. See that line? Outside of that, there's not a speck of honey on there. Um, I can't really blame the capper on that, guys, but we're still talking about maybe a tablespoon. That was a good, that was a good job. That was frame number two. Frame number three, now I think this was Big Fatty. Um, let's see how that one goes. It is light, very light. See absolutely no cells on this side. Looks like some dark spots in here. Let's dig in there a little bit right there. A little bit I didn't get. Or it didn't get. So, you know, didn't get it. But there's just a little stream right through the middle. Everything else it got everything else it got but i just didn't get enough pressure in those rollers on this i would call that probably about uh, i don't know two dozen cells and um maybe a maybe a couple of tablespoons of honey left in there now here it's all dry all dried out so again too you know to, to try to do this things a little justice this is the first time I've used this on capper. Uh, I might have, um, you know, who knows? There is a learning curve to this. Uh, I'm still uh, willing to give up two tablespoons of honey uh, for the speed uh, and the bottleneck that this relieves for me. So that's number three. Number four, I believe, was our old capping. 
There's just nothing in here. This is dry. Uh, we got it all on that side. They got it all on that side. There's nothing on there, light as a feather. So, all in all, and I tell you with the other frames I've done, uh, that one frame, that number three, uh, was actually, that was actually the worst one I've had uh, in, in any of the frames I've pulled, uh, having that little bit of, little line of honey in there. Again, um, whether that's my fault or the capper's fault, who knows. But uh, in any event, um, this, solves, this, this solves a big problem for me. I was pretty much stuck at about 25 highs. Uh, I don't have anybody working with me. I don't want to hire anybody. Um, and I was just flat to the point that I couldn't, I couldn't do any more uh, in capping by myself. But I think this, this lets me grow my apiary a little bit more, lets me go probably to the next step, uh, the next level. Very happy with it. Haven't cleaned it up yet, but it looks like it's a real easy cleanup. These are just aluminum rollers. Uh, put that in a sink, wash it off, be no problem. Uh, very impressed with the product. Again, I'm not getting paid to say that. Uh, happy with it. Uh, it goes at least twice as fast, uh, if not more. And uh, without all the, uh, the mess that's associated with, with cutting these cappings off. So, happy with it. Uh, hope you like the video. Thanks.